Hello everyone, Happy New Year, and I've got a great announcement and something fun I'm going to do here for this video. Deforum has just released us a new notebook to go along with the new year, and they've released the 0.7 notebook, which has support for the 2.1768 by 768 model. And there's also a lot of other features, but I really like this model a lot, especially since it's the 2.1 version. And you can make really big images now. So what I'll do is go ahead and demonstrate that model. And that's pretty much all this is going to be. I'm just going to go through and go and run everything and show you what I've changed, which isn't going to be much. And then I'm going to run a few prompts here, five prompts with the 768 model. There's also a lot of other features. So another thing I'm going to do, since Stable Diffusion has come out and since the Deform Notebook has come out, notebooks and other things would sometimes change quite rapidly so a lot of the stuff that i have now for beginners and everything on this notebook might be a bit out of date so i'm going to start a whole new fresh series for this year that's just going to focus on the 0.7 notebooks and up so that way it'll be current right now and you know it'll be a while before this becomes not current anymore so that's what i'm going to do here and first thing we do here as always let's just get right into it is let's go ahead and copy this to the drive and so you're going to see the same thing i'm seeing when you first open this up because i haven't done anything to it yet this is all the default settings so the first thing we're going to do here is just to run it oh and actually this is i'm going to change one thing here first i'm going to run it in high ram i'm not going to change the processor because that takes up a lot of credits but the high ram doesn't take up too much and I'm not even sure if you can run the 768 model or even just the regular 2.0 model without high RAM. I'm not sure. I tried it before and I couldn't do it. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. And you can still use the notebook even with free. You just might not be able to use the 2.0 models and the 768 model. So let's just go ahead and run this here. And right now, like I said, I'm not going to change anything because the default is actually already on the 2.1768 model okay and we are all set up up here so now it's time to get down to the fun stuff I'm just gonna leave this on none and here we go we're already to the prompts let's just go ahead and I do have some prompts I've already made for this let's just get rid of that and I'm gonna go ahead and paste my prompt in here all right, and this is kind of a long one to give us a view of a villain inside a jail cell. So what I'm going to change here, I'm first just going to, let's see, go ahead and turn this down just a little bit. And I'm just going to change the batch name and you can leave the prompt waiting on or off. I'm not really using it yet, so I'm just going to turn it off for now. I'll do a couple of runs here for each of these and I'm just going to rename the batch name here. And let me just double check. But like I said, I didn't change. Oh, this is one thing. Change this to a zero for the init settings because that will affect it. So we'll just change that to zero. And oh, also I changed this to C. This is just because sometimes if you have like this prompt up here, when it saves it, the prompt name will be so long that it won't recognize it as a PNG file. You have to rename it. Anyways, I'm just going to do that. So I did change this and the batch name and the strength. I believe that is all I did. And you don't really need to do any of this. I've also turned off the prompt weights. This is just kind of the way I like to run it. So I'm going to go ahead and yeah, looks good to go. So with the other one, what I usually did was I'd run it in Euler first and then um, this one. For this one, the 768, this seems to work a little better, but I'll go ahead and run two versions. One of this and one with the ancestral. So also all the ancestral samplers, those tend to make things look a little bit more realistic. So if you're wanting like a painting image, use one without it. If you want a realistic one, use the ancestral. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to go ahead and run it. And we'll come check back when it's done. Okay, and here we go. Here is our first render of this guy sitting in a jail cell for fighting the wrong superheroes. Or maybe the boys put him in there. But there's our first prompt, and let's go ahead now to the other sampling method, the Ancestral, and I'll go ahead and do a run of it like this. 
Okay, our second run is done here with the DMPP Ancestral Sampler. And there is our bad guy, still in jail. And that's where you belong, Bumblebee King. You're not going anywhere. You're not going to terrorize this city anymore. All right, and there's the other one. So you can see we got a lot of detail here, and we can still even upscale this. So this is really going to give us a way to make really detailed images. So let's go ahead and do our next one here. I've got five prompts all together, and I'm just going to do the same thing with these next ones. I'm going to run it first with this sampler, and then second with this sampler. So I'll go ahead and get this next prompt loaded, and we'll continue. All right, here's the next prompt here. And let's go ahead and run it. And some of these prompts I, I'm using, I started using um, Pharmacocotics Clip Interrogator. I would first render a image in the, with the 1.5 model, and then I would use that, the version, to kind of apply to the 2.0 version. So that's where some of these prompts have come from. I'll probably do a tutorial on that, too, one of these days. But anyways, let's go ahead and run this. And we'll come check on it when it's done. Okay, and here's our next render. Just some people standing in front of a giant robot. And there's the next one. And let's go ahead and change that sampler and do this one again. All right, here's our next one. And again, this is the ancestral one. And I think I kind of like this one better. Yeah, I think that turned out a little better than the first one. So what I usually do when I'm making a batch of images, I'll first run it through this. And this also renders a little faster, and then I'll run it through this, and then I'll just see which one I like better and do a batch with that. So let's go ahead and do the next prompt here. Okay, and here's our next prompt, a couple of people in a cave, etc., etc. This one I just painted a couple days ago. I really like this one. This one should turn out pretty good. Okay, and let's go ahead and do this version first. I'm also going to show you the difference in speed between those two. So this one is rendering at about 2.6 iterations a second. The other one will render uh, quite a bit slower, about half the speed. So always keep that in mind too when you're choosing a sampler to use. If the, you think they're both about the same, just use the one, the non-ancestor one, because they're quicker. All right, this is done. Let's go look at our images here. And there's our first one. And this is why I like this prompt, because it really adds a lot of cool shadow and lighting and everything. Let's go see the next one. Oh, yeah, that one's good, too. Great images. Detail on this, you know, without even upscaling, is just amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and go now to our next one. All right, here's the next prompt. And this one I just made up tonight. This one is a pretty basic one but it came out really good. So you can see you don't always have to have real long prompts. If something looks good, then it looks good, you know. So let's go ahead. Yep. Yeah. Okay, there we are. Let's go ahead and run this with the 2M, and then we'll come and render a batch with the Ancestral. All right, we're ready to look at these again. The run is done. And there is our world tree in the desert. That one's pretty nice. All right, let's go ahead now and try the other version. All right, and here's our next one. And oh yeah, that one's real nice. I like that one. And that one's pretty nice too. I kind of like that surreal looking sky. All right, so we got one more to do here. And this one is kind of a special one. Let me go ahead and enter this and we'll come check back here in a minute. All right, and here is our final prompt. So let's go ahead and run this, and we'll come check back when it's done. All right, and this one is done. Let's go check it out. And again, this is a medium view of a painting in the interior of an AI art gallery. That was pretty cool. That looks like a pretty legit painting there. Okay, let's go ahead and try this for our last one here with the ancestral version. Okay, and let's check out our final prompt render here. A uh, medium view of a painting in the interior of an AI art gallery. And there's that one. That's a pretty nice looking little landscape scene there. And then here's one where you can see them on the side too. I really like kind of just the building here, the 
reflective floor and everything. That's pretty cool. So I said this was special. So this is something I think about sometimes. A lot of these images we're making that, you know, are trained on other people's images and photos and things like that. Maybe our images themselves will someday get absorbed into training other AI models. So maybe in the far future, when humans have colonized the galaxy many millennia from now, and they're training AI art images across the entire universe, maybe some little pixel we've made or some little remnant of what we're doing now will remain for many millennia to come. Or as Russell Crowe would say, what we do today echoes in eternity. So thank you for watching, everybody. It's been a great year. I really appreciate the growth of my channel this year. And I do plan now on, I'm going to make full steam ahead. I'm going to start making some tutorials from 0.7 on up. And I'm really looking forward to the changes that come this year. So you all have a great day and a great new year. Thank you for watching.